welcome back to the finale for all of the Anne Boleyns. Um, you'll notice there's nine of them. One of them is an Anne Boleyn that I made a couple years ago that I, I've just been including them as just an extra little tidbit. Um, fun fact, I recorded all this with audio on, I thought, did not have audio on, so we're gonna, we're gonna relive some of the chaos together. So yeah, these are all Andalins that I created for the Different Faces Challenge, and then the last one was just one that I had created based on portraiture. I don't think Anne Boleyn had black hair, but that's just what she kind of... a lot of descriptions kind of lean towards darker hair, and I don't know, just based on the portraiture, that's why I ended up choosing. I just feel the need to excuse myself on that. So yeah, this um, I thought would be pretty simple, you know, you'd take Henry, you make him have a baby with each of the ladies. I named, I numbered them because it makes it a little bit easier. Yes, we're in the middle of nowhere. This is my testing neighborhood, which, yeah, that was a choice that I made. You're going to find out. So, uh, and number one, based on Natalie Dormer and the Tudors, decided to have her baby first because I'm just going to go in order. Um, also, I said this a live recording, but um, some of them are not wearing the outfits that they were from their video or their headdresses or things. It's just because I don't play my game with my tutor folder because it's primarily body shop. Actually, it's all body shop, but there's something in it that makes my game glitch. And I'm not really sure what, and I don't need it anyways to play any of my neighborhoods, so it's just mostly a body shop thing. Because a lot of it you can't even find anymore. Yeah, love, love the cinematics, by the way. I try to turn them off later in the video, and it just says, no, you're going to experience that. So, first girl we get is Elizabeth. None of the kids are going to have red hair. I'm just going to say that now, because that's not how genetics and sims work. Uh, and Blend 2 is up. She's based on Helena Bonham Carter. I'm just going to make her have her kid. I, for a second, thought I messed up, so I had to check and make sure... It, it gets pretty chaotic pretty quickly. Here's me going, oh, I'm going to turn the cinematics off. I can do that. No cinematics. <laughs> My game said, you thought. You thought. Yes, all the burbies. Burbies? Oh my gosh. Babies are mermaids because I have a default in there and apparently I have more than one. I don't know. I'm almost just accepted that that's what babies look like in my game now. So yeah, cinematics, there they are when they're not supposed to be. Cool, cool, cool. We had another girl I named her Helena after the actress who I modeled that Anne off of. This next one, I can't remember the name of the actress, but it's from the, it's from like a Henry and the, his wives in the 70s. The video is on my channel, which you can this, this video is going to be in the playlist if you want to see the rest of those. And yes, she is wearing her jewelry while giving birth, because of course she is. She is an icon. And two of them are wearing those little pearl headbands, but they're kind of synonymous with any Tudor show, especially of a certain era. Like, they just love putting headbands on the women. I don't know why. Uh, what with Catherine? for this one, because why not? There's like five tutor names for men and five for women, and you just went with it. That's why Henry VIII actually had three wives named Catherine and two named Anne, because of course he did. The next Anne we're going with is based on Natalie Portman from The Other Boleyn Girl. Visually, she's probably my favorite Anne Boleyn actress because she just looks right. Also, I decided for some extra chaos, I was gonna give them all mutual love flags and just see what happened. But yeah, no. Nobody's gonna get in a slap fight. I'm gonna disappoint you now, because I was disappointed. I didn't think it would happen, but I was just like, yeah, maybe. But they weren't interacting too much, probably because I cheated their motives. But yeah, I figured if all of this nonsense was gonna be happening, and people were arguing, but... All the babies go on the ground as well. Let's just, just toss them down. Toss them down. They're fine. It's sand. It's soft. Do, 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 do. I'm trying to 
actually remember the names of all the kids in order. Actually, I'm like, which one was this? I am disappointed that she's not in the right outfit, because she actually had an outfit from the movie, but yeah. Mary! There's not a lot of Tudor names, okay? Don't judge me. Uh, this next one, I believe the actress's name is Claire Cooper. I could be wrong. It's from a documentary series. I know her first name's Claire, but I, I don't remember. I think it was like Six Wives with Lucy Worsley or something. So she's gonna spit out her little one. Literally, this original video was like 40 minutes long. <laughs> I was rambling throughout most of it, of course, but it's almost probably better that I was able to fast forward it to be 15 minutes because I lose it at a couple points. I was just like, what? So we have our first boy, went with Thomas. There aren't many kings named Thomas. Actually, I don't think there's any named Thomas, but there was many Thomases during the Tudor period. So it was appropriate. And then this next Anne Boleyn is based on Elaine Stewart. I feel like 60s. I don't, I don't remember what she was in, but yeah. Of course, she's in an inappropriate headdress, but that was what I realized. When I was making her, I hadn't put my Tudor folder in, so I wasn't able to give her the right setup. I'm trying to remember that orange dress on the sim behind her. I think that's actually a recolor that I did. Because it's in my game all the time, no matter what. So we have Edward. And then we are moving on to the next Anne Boleyn, which... Jody and she's got a hyphenated last name, I don't remember, but she's from 2021. And right about when this happened, I realized something, because you can see everybody's starting to cry. And I was like, um, what is, what is happening? And this is where I lost it, because I forgot in my mods folder, because Deeran has too many sims, so I have add, add, added a Death by Childbirth mod, totally not thinking that it was in this tester neighborhood as well, because I don't mess with my mods folder, it just lives there all the time. And so... Yeah, we lost the Elaine Stewart and Boleyn, and I just kept saying I'm sorry over and over and over. I'm less sorry now that it happened because honestly it was hilarious, but I was just, I was in shock that it happened because I was like, wait a minute, why is she dying? Everybody has their motives up, and I was like, oh, you absolute idiot. So yeah, that happened. I went with Margaret for the next baby. I also have a default for the urn, so yeah, that, that just, that just all around. I'm still kind of sorry. I'm so, so sorry, Sim. I'm sorry. I didn't mean it. And that one stinky baby. I'm like, don't get taken away. So, lastly, or I wanted to start growing up the babies, because it's like, oh my god, like, I don't want kids to get taken away while we're still procuring the young. Uh, this is Anne Boleyn 8. She's based on Genevieve Bujols from the Anne of a Thousand Days. Probably saying that last name right. Or wrong. Not right. I never say anything right. It's fine. But yeah, I was like, let's start growing up your babies because I'm a little concerned someone's going to get taken away. But at this point, I was also very concerned that somebody else was going to die by childbirth and trying to remember if the death by childbirth month also affects babies. Because I couldn't remember. It didn't affect any of these babies, so I don't think that it does. But like, yeah, maybe I should have considered that before I did this. But it's also funny. It's entertaining. This finale video isn't meant to be super serious. It's mostly just like, let's play with genetics. We made all these sims. Let's see if they pair with my Henry VIII sim. What we got going on? So we have Jane. And then we're going to have our last little baby, which is my custom Anne Boleyn. And we're going to see who she has. And because I felt bad about the Elaine Stewart and Boleyn dying, I'd already decided that I was going to name the kid after her. Because I felt bad. I was also upping their aspirations because I was like, oh yeah, I don't want everybody to grow up miserable. Let's be multitasking, but let's grow up babies, but like, let's also have babies and just like grow up the toddlers and just, let's just get it all done. I still love this Sam. Again, she has black hair and I... Personally, my personal opinion is that Anne Boleyn had dark auburn, ha dark auburn hair, but can't prove it. So we named the, the last kid Stuart. 
and I start growing them up. I am going to skip just because I realized how long it was going to take to grow everybody up to being teens and then I wanted to, or to adults and I wanted to give them a brief makeover so we will skip in a minute because yeah. There's just, there's just babies everywhere. Babies and toddlers. Henry actually was interacting with them which I thought was funny because he is a romance sim and I thought he was going to go into like aspiration failure with all of this happening. But he was too concerned about not having a toilet or a fridge, which is fair, which is fair. I would have loved to see him go to aspiration failure, but he didn't, and that's that's fine too, I guess. So yeah, we're focusing on Helena because some things happened. So I had to play through the night because it was dark and I wanted to show you the Sims as they looked in the light. But ACR is installed. So those three decided to form a thruple. <laughs> they were just all making out with each other non-stop and some of the boys decided that to have romantic interests in their not stepmoms but like kind of their stepmoms and I was really icked out by it but I also was just letting it happen and a lot of them had interests in more than one because why not so this is the first daughter this is Elizabeth she really got the Kind of the worst aspects to combine for both of her parents henry jaw henry mouth which is made for a beard she got her mom's nose i think those are henry's eyes eyebrows i think are henry's as well but just like all together wasn't the cutest combination she looks a little funky but that's okay i was hoping she got her mom's mouth but of course she didn't so up next oh god i can't see the names i think this was this is helena I think Helena is really pretty, but she also has a lot of Henry in her. I honestly think she's almost pure Henry, except for maybe the eyes. Like, she Henry. She's Henry all over. So and three had Catherine. Catherine is one of my favorites. I think she's super cute. She's got her mom's mouth, Henry's nose. Like she's just she's a good combo. I think of both of them, and she's freckly. We love the freckles. I was looking, so I'm like, I can't tell whose eyes she actually has, but I'm pretty sure that those are the mom's eyes. But it's also hard with skin tones in this game because they can change the shape of things so drastically that it's hard to tell. Uh, here's our next one. I believe this is Mary. Kind of unfortunate looking. Again, she's got that dad mouth and it just, on women, it looks really weird. It looks great with a beard though, but just, yeah. Edward. Yeah, he, I think, is purely his mom, but like, as a male Sam, those cheekbones just look bizarre. It looks like there's a chunk out of his face. Let's be moving her so we can actually see him, but yeah, like, it looks like he's a full-on chunk just taken out of his face. But that's his mom's mouth. It, that might be the dad's nose, but I'm not sure, but he's pretty much mom. Margaret, who is an another one of my favorites. I, I don't know if she's my top favorite, but she's definitely my favorite girl. She's just so pretty. She got a good blend of both of her parents. She got Henry's jaw, but like her mom's cheekbones, her mom's mouth, her mom's nose, but I don't know. Overall, she's just one of my favorites. And then Stuart is my favorite. He's like little goth prince. He's a good combo of both. And I just, I really, really like him. I think he's a cool looking sim. I don't know if I'm going to end up like stealing some of these for you know, future playthroughs of other things, but I do like them. And then there's Edward, whose mom is deceased now, so yeah. And then I wanted to kind of place them all, not in order, but just like so you could see everybody in order. I had a lot of fun. It was chaotic, but like what isn't in The Sims 2? But definitely let me know, like, if you have a favorite of The Sims who you think turned out the best i would say like who's your favorite out of everyone maybe favorite boy favorite girl there's only three boys compared to the girls i didn't want to unpause my game so i literally just was like fine she's gonna go up there so yeah here is everybody again i get yeah, margaret is just so pretty margaret and Stuart are just and then Catherine. i really do like Catherine's face as well and then yeah that face pretty much sums up everything we did here so thank you so much for joining me definitely give it a like if you enjoyed watching the video comment subscribe, what have you, and I will see you in the next one.